welcomed people so yes it seems another leak but is this one the true one or is it a season two we don't know but do like subscribe with the bell notification follow me to the future for more content so yes we have another leak for tekken 8 and we know we were supposed to get another group of characters but it seems this one has also leaked out so shout out to sean thank you very much for sending me this man but yes it seems there is a new leak for tekken 8 which shows that it's been data mined for the following characters and it is marduk Fakumra and Lydia. Yes, it seems they are as the DLC one spoiler um um thread for this. As we know, we were supposed to get loads of different things, and there's several leaks during the CNT, and you can see that there's a lot of stuff. But as you can see, it seems um Murdoch is returning. Now it's mad to think that he was DLC in Tekken 7, I think, in the second season pass, but it seems he is now in this one. We don't know if this is the first one or the second one, but it might be the first or second. Then we have Lydia. Lydia was a good character. I weren't too fussed about her, but she did have brilliant moves, and a lot of people were very happy with her, and she's a new character too. Now Farquhar Ra, everybody loved him. He was brilliant, he was great, everybody liked how he was as a character. Honestly, I enjoyed Farquhar Ra. He was great, and I'm glad that he's coming back. I'd have preferred him on base roster um, instead of, um, you know, Shaheen. But I can see that he is definitely a really good character, and I'm glad that they brought him back. Now, as we know, the original characters that was leaked out from the the the, the pre-order bonus of the things with the season pass. They said Armor King. Then we had Roger. We've got um, Eddie Gordo, and then also. Um, the new character Xiao Meng. Now it seems that is definitely still going to be this first DLC roster, but this could be season two. So obviously, right now in the season two, we only have three characters. The first one, obviously, or maybe the third or second one, Farquhar Ra. Like I said, I'm glad that they have brought him back. He's a brilliant character. He's really fast, and his moves were really, really great. And the people are definitely going to mod once again and make him Sagat because he literally was modded into Sagat from Tekken in Tekken Seven. So I can see him being a really good great character for people to customize and everything i'm glad he is that character now when it comes to obviously lydia she was someone who they made new she had great moves and everything almost matching jin and ryu and it seemed like everybody was she was well received to everybody everybody loved her they liked how it was her radar was pleased so she's definitely coming back maybe she might be the second character or maybe the first one we don't know but it's good to see that they have brought her back i wonder if she's going to be different or if she's going to be the same or if she's become a master of some sort or even if she's a little bit older don't know and as i said murdoch it's good to see that he's actually going to be back in this we know armor king's coming so we know these two definitely have a rivalry between each other armor king and obviously him because the other um armor king was killed by him so the other armor king comes into this he's gonna want to fight him so it'll be interesting to see how that battle goes but those are the three i think of season two who have already been data mined and leaked we still have one more character if we're going by the way how the first one is there's four characters so it seems that we are going to be getting another character who could that be who knows i hope it's alex but let me know what you think of all these people and do like subscribe this is you boy future boy Aiden, back to future stay frosted peeps peace